All right, folks, we're back again as Shotzi's army takes on the Duchess is in the girls' night out. The Duchess Lana King teaming up with, uh, actually, we frame that. The current reigning Telenet women's champion, Duchess Lana King, teaming up with a former BA women's champion, uh, Luscious Lillian Stevens, along with Sarah Gilbert and Lori Metcalf from the Roseanne and the Connors to take on the team of Shotzi Blackheart, Tegan Knox, and the Iconics, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Oh, take down there by Tegan Knox into a cover. The old one count. Front face lock. Oh, front face slam by Tegan Knox. Oh, and a knee to the face. Kick to the lower back. If you... I wouldn't be... Doubting the Duchess, however. Taking some time to gloat in the corner might not be a good idea. That open head chop and a headbutt. The Duchess having issues with Tegan Knox so far. Here comes Peyton Royce, ladies and gentlemen. Goes in to pick the bones. Misses the kick. Springboard. <laughs> Duchess just easily walks out of the way and boots her in the face for her troubles. And here comes someone who's just as nightmarish as the Duchess is. Luscious Lillian Stevens now tagged in, former women's BA champion. Doesn't believe in a salon day, but she will definitely have no problem pulling your hair out if you need it. Luscious Lillian getting moderations from the fans. One of the most legit badasses out there. And she is a former women's champion. BA champion, of course. And by the way, today is Luscious Lillian's birthday, November 14th. Her and her twin brother, former superstar, uh, Tiger Paul, the Tiger Paul Stevens, is their birthday as they are twins. So shout out to, both, to the Tiger as Luscious Lillian resides somewhere in between reality and our reality as Sarah Gilbert now in going to work on the shoulder and now into a submission as an arm bar on Peyton Royce Sarah Gilbert trying to re relocate the shoulder anatomy of Peyton Royce trying to attach the arm to the back which is not physically possible getting a one count for her troubles now a straight knuckle head, a straight knuckle shot to the side of the head. As Sarah Gilbert, here comes the Duchess, tagged back in. Peyton Royce, if she was smart, would tag someone else in. And she charges into some right hands. And down she goes. She just got crowned by the Duchess into the cover. Thanks for coming, Peyton Royce. Next, here comes Billy Kay, her tag team partner. Not even allowing Duchess to get up. That's actually smart, I'm not gonna lie. If you have someone down, you should strike right away. Don't wait. There's Billy Kay in now. Getting a near fall which is something some people have been able to say. No one has been able to say that they have defeated her, however. Everyone looking for a tag, including Lillian, who's got her arm out ready. Billy Kay going to let her make the tag, and she does. That's a very amateur mistake for a veteran. And the person she tagged is not the person who wanted to get the tagged, and that's Lillian. Oh! They... She just hit the discus throw, hit punch on the wrong person. And now Lillian getting around dislocated herself. Uh oh. Brain Buster by Billy Kay. Lillian sidestep. 
Uh oh. Watch out. Oh, Lillian with a back suplex on the arm. It is not completely, it is not comfortable at all. We have but only two women's qualifiers left. There is this one and there's one after, which is our finals of our women competitor tag team matches. Going to be quite the uh, confrontation, so to speak. Oh. As we have two bitter rivals going on in our main event for the women. As the Page Turners going at it with former colleagues turned rivals at the Squared Circle Cafe. As Billy Kay trying to keep the attack on Lillian. And here comes the tag to Tegan Knox. In comes Tegan Knox. Knox making a rookie mistake by allowing Lillian to get up. I don't know why. There's a running drop kick, single drop kick there. Much, much too much wasted movements there, and that's going to cause that could very much come back and haunt her right there. Here comes the Army Girl, one girl army, Shotzi Blackheart, who Luxus Lillian just dropped with a vicious second degree deep fried Oreo driver. Thanks for coming. That was interesting. Thanks for coming, Shotzi. And here comes Tegan Knox back in with his headbutt to the head. Kick to the gut. Knox now. Sunset flip power bomb. Nicely done. It's out of Tegan Knox and Billy Kay versus the entire other team. And there's Sarah Gilbert to break up the count. Billy Kay now battling up with. Sarah Gilbert. Shot to lower back now. She's out of the ring. Tegan Knox says Lillian out of the ring. Everyone's out of the ring now as Billy Kay beating up on Sarah Gilbert. By the way, I want to point out if that is not a place you want to pick a fight with someone, and it is. Lori Metcalf coming to the aid, uh, well, was coming to the aid of Sarah Gilbert. And there's Luscious Lillian coming to the aid of Lori Metcalf, who's a legal woman in the ring. And there's Billy Kay getting a dragon snap suplex for her troubles. And finally, Shotzi Blackheart leaving ringside as she was already eliminated right out of the gate. And look at Tegan Knox taking cheap shots at Lori Metcalf. And here's a choke slam. I don't know if you got up that high, but there's a choke slam for Luscious Lillian. Is that going to be enough to put away Lillian, though? On her birthday, is that one of those ongoing? Nope. Then the Duchess comes in for the save. Billy Kay now. Her referee is the absolute worst referee in the history of refereeing, as he is allowing way too much shenanigans here. And Tegan Knox really taking a lot of liberties with gyrating and mannerisms to the fans rather than following up. And I believe that is a mistake and a half. To give your opponent time to recover, to regroup, is not something that will be effective in the long term. As Billy Kay finally where she needs to be. And that Lillian has finally been eliminated. Can Tegan Knox and Billy Kay do the unthinkable? Can they run the gauntlet? As Sarah Gilbert tosses Tegan Knox to the outside. If you thought Sarah Gilbert is a pushover, well, think again. She is a feisty little thing from the corners as Darlene being channeled well. And there's a slam to the outside into the cover. And Billy Kay almost had a really rough night. <laughs> Billy Kay doesn't want to go into the opposite side. This Sarah Gilbert now turning attention on to Tegan, on to Billy Kay. There you go. Thanks for coming. There's a power bomb for her. But she has taken her focus off of Tegan Knox from behind. Sunset flip power bomb into the cover. 
Okay, and two count only. Billy Kay is also out. If Tegan Knox and Billy Kay can win from this position, would be very impressive. Of course, mathematically speaking, the odds are in the favor of the Duchess and Company. So far, Luscious Lillian has been eliminated. Oh, vicious kick to the face of Sarah Gilbert. Is this going to turn into a tag team match? No. Lauren Metcalf is knocked off the apron, by the way, as you can see. And it's Gilbert and Tegan Knox. What is Tegan Knox doing? Knox turning attention to Laurie Metcalf, forgetting about Gilbert, who is a legal woman who just sent her into the goal po into the ring post and into the cover. And Tegan Knox kicking out of two as the Duchess made sure Billy Kay doesn't get involved anymore. Still, mathematically speaking, the odds are better in the favor of the Duchess, Sarah Gilbert, and Lori Metcalf. And, here, and of course, Luscious Lillian has fallen victim to the ever so well known birthday curse on your birthday. <laughs> and Gilbert sends Negan, Tegan Knox into the, into the mat. Well, actually, gravity sent her in the mat. All she did was post her in the air. And here comes Billy Kay. Boot to the face in a half. Bow and arrow coming up, maybe. Maybe not. Trying to pull Sarah Gilbert to the center of the ring, perhaps, so she get a count. And that's what she's trying to do. And there's Lori Metcalf there to save her on-screen niece, Sarah Gilbert. And there's a kick to her face for her troubles. And Billy Kay with Gilbert up. Face first into the mat. Oh, there's a discus elbow for Lori Metcalf. Now laughing at the Connor girls. Uh-oh. Billy Kay now. Run face lock. Gilbert's up. Widow's Peak, perhaps. Down set match. And again, a discus el and an elbow for Lori Metcalf. And now the nightmare continues because the Duchess is the one who's the legal one in the ring. And Billy Kay has spent way too much time focusing on everyone else in this ring. And the Duchess powerbombed to the outside of her ring. And now it is Billy Kay who's far away from her teammate. And it's Lori Metcalf now who's going to keep her away. Here comes Knox. Ooh, catches Lana King with a clothesline. Can't take a cheap shot on the Duchess to expect to run away. She just learned that the hard way. Billy Kay trying to take a cheap shot on Lori Metcalf, which is exactly what she's doing. As the Duchess is destroying Billy Kay's tag team partner. <clears throat> Hopefully Billy Kay understands that when the Duchess gets in the ring, Billy Kay is not going to have someone to tag out. Duchess just tosses her out of the ring. And I think Billy Kay just realized what was going on. And now, grabbing the Duchess. She's up. And down. And there's Lauren Metcalf again. Snap suplex. But forgetting about the Duchess, which is a fatal, which is a very non-wise wise move right there, sending her into the apron. I'm sorry, into the guardrail. Guard Going into the ring now. <laughs> and Duchess with some choice words for Billy Kay. Back in she comes, and the Duchess waited for her, tosses her <laughs> by her hair across the ring, and now dancing and gyrating, and here comes Tegan Knox. Oh, catches her with a foot to the face. Perhaps goaded Tegan Knox to think for a false sense of security. Billy Kay's by herself. 
If this was the plan, it was brilliantly orchestrated. As Billy Kay, who has been pummeled, is by herself. And the Duchess tag again, Lori Metcalf. Who, technically, all she has to do is pin Billy Kay, and they would win this, maybe. Oh. Introduce her face to the knee, and that could be it right here. Referee not in position. You know, I have to say, if I'm if I'm team uh, Duchess, I would be a little upset about the referee. I think he might have cost them there. I think this match should have been over, but the referee wasn't in position, which makes no sense because why wouldn't he be there? As Laurie Metcalf measuring Billy Kay. And now what? Uh-oh. Pile driver. You don't see that often. Thanks for coming. As the Duchess's Empire of Spain, the girls' night out have won here. Only person eliminated, Sarah Gilbert. Sorry, I mean Lillian eliminated, falling victim to the birthday curse. But other than that, the Duchess and her undefeated streak remains somehow. Absolutely impressive by the Duchess and company. Lori Metcalf can't believe it. None of the girls can, and there they come to celebrate. The Duchess Lana King winning alongside of Sarah Gilbert and Lori Metcalf, the con. Quiet. I hear voices. <laughs> 